For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem in which if the tension developed in each cable cannot exceed 300 pounds, find the largest weight of the crate that can be supported. So we have three cables. We have cable AB, cable AC, and the cable going straight down holding the crate. And then we have this uh, rod AD that uh, we also need to find. So the univector will be going this way. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to find all the univectors. There are four, and I just drew them. So to do so, first we need to find the points involved, which are A, B, C, and D. And D. So A sits at 0 in the I, plus 6 in the J, plus 2.5 in the K. B sits at negative 2 in the I, plus 0 in the J, plus 4 in the K. C sits at 2 in the I, plus 0 in the J, plus 5.5 in the K. And this sits at the origin which is 0, 0, 0. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find vector that goes from A to B, which is easily found by subtracting A from B. And it comes out to be minus 2 in the I, minus 6 in the J, plus 1.5 in the K. Then you need to find the magnitude of this vector which is easily found by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. So 2 square plus 6 square plus 1.5 square, all square rooted. When you plug it in your calculator, it gives you 6.5. And the univector AB comes out to be minus 0 0.308 in the i, minus 0 0.923 in the j, plus 0 0.231 in the k. So in this same manner, I want you to find the univector AC, univector AD, and the univector for the crate. So just repeat these three steps, and you're going to get that the univector AC is equal to 0.286 in the I, minus 0.857 in the J, plus 0.429 in the K. And AD is 0 on the I, minus 0.423 in the J, minus 0.385 in the K. And the one for the grid is going straight down parallel to the C-axis, so it's simply minus 1 in the K. Uh, turn the page now. Now that you have the univectors on your notes, all you need to do is multiply the univectors by the tensions slash forces. So how many do we have? We have this force, we have this tension, we have this tension and we have this tension. We got four, same amount of univectors. So tension in AB, tension in AC, the force of the rod AD, and the tension for the crate, which is equal to the weight of the crate. And you need to multiply each of these by its respective univector times univector AB times univector AC times univector AD times a univector for the crate. And that will give you the Cartesian vector form of each of these vectors, which is respectively negative 0 0.308 tension AB in the I 
minus 0.923 tension AB in the J plus 0.231 tension AB in the K. So 0.286 tension AC in the I minus 0.857 tension AC in the J plus 0.429 tension AC in the K. And for AD, C on the I minus 0.923 the force AD in the J minus 0.385 the force AD in the K. And the weight is C on the I, C on the J, and minus the weight of the crate in the K. Now that you have this table, you know that if you were to add all these Cartesian vectors together in equilibrium, they add up to be C on the I, C on the J, and C on the K. So that tells us that we can build three equations, one for the I, one for the J, one for the K you know that minus 0 0.308 the tension AB plus 0.286 the tension AC tension AC plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 so we're gonna do the same thing for the J and the K 923 tension AB minus 0.857 tension AC minus 0.923 force AD is equal to 0 and 0.231 tension AV plus 0.429 tension AC minus 0.385 force AD is equal to the weight of the crate. So now we have, let's call this equation 1, let's call this equation 2, and let's call this equation 3. I'm going to solve them algebraically. So I'm going to rewrite equation 2 right here. That will be minus 0.923 tension AB minus 0.857 tension AC minus 0.923 force AD is equal to 0 and I'm going to rewrite equation 3 here but I'm going to multiply each of these values by negative 0.923 over 0.385 this is basic algebra so this is equation 3 multiplied by the, each of the values multiplied by this fraction. So this is minus 0.554 tension AB minus 1.03 tension AC plus 0.923 force AD is equal to negative 2.4 times the weight. So as you can see, the forces in AD cancel out when you add them together, of course, add together and you get this new equation minus 1.447 tension AV minus 1.883 tension AC is equal to negative 2.4 times the weight so I'm gonna rewrite now equation 1 but I'm gonna multiply by this fraction 1.883 over 0.286 when you do the equation 1 becomes negative 0 0.203 tension AB plus 1.883 tension AC is equal to 0 and when you add these two equations together the ACs cancel out and you get that minus 3.5 tension AB is equal to minus 2.4 times the weight. So the tension AB is equal to 0.686 times the weight.
if you plug um, this value for AB into equation 1, just plug it into equation 1, and you solve for AC, you get that, that the tension AC is equal to 0 0.740 times the weight. And if you plug these two values into any other equation, let's say equation 2, you can solve for the force AD and you get something interesting. You get that the force AD is equal to negative 1.37W. Now you might be thinking, why is it negative? Well, originally we assumed, I assumed, maybe not you guys, that the force was going down. However, the force is not going down, it's going up, that's why it's negative. The force in reality is going up. That's why this value is negative, so no alarms, okay? So the force AD in reality is going up, correct it on your diagram, and it will be 1.37 times the weight. Now they told us that the, the, the tension on the cables cannot exceed 300 pounds. You know that this, this tension right here is going to be the weight of the crate. So, the tensions in cables AB and AC cannot exceed 300 pounds. And as you can see, AC is bigger than AD. We can tell just by looking at these two equations that tension AC is bigger than tension AB which means that tension AC is going to be equal to the 300 pounds. And if tension AC is equal to the 300 pounds, and tension AC is also equal to 0 0.740 times the weight, all you got to do is solve for the weight by dividing 300 by 0.74, and you get that the weight is equal to 405.4 pounds. And that is the answer that the book gives. You can also find the force in strut AD because you know it's 1.37 times the weight and you know that the weight is 405.4 so you plug that into here and you solve for the force AD and you get that the force AD is equal to 555.4 pounds. So final answer, final answer and just a thought if you tell me that in this in this system none of the cables can exceed 300 pounds, I would also I would like also count this cable, but for some reason they don't count it on the problem. So that's just a thought. And just remember that the reason why this one came out to be negative is because I assumed that it was going down, but in reality it was going up. So final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.